Good morning, YouTube. How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Today we're going to have a little bit of a discussion about encouraging people to do better. I've been thinking about this for a little while. And this morning it was actually kind of triggered by my wife. Long story long, I worked out quite a bit from the mid-90s up to in the 2000s and uh, to up to about 2010. There was time off in between there and all that good stuff. Just like what happens with most things. We move on, we do something else, and we go back to something, and you know how you know how that works. So, over the years, I've had probably two sets of gym equipment. Person was creeping me out. Anyway, over the years I've had approximately probably two sets of uh, gym equipment over the time. Uh, in 2010 I sold off everything or 2011 uh, probably 2011, because that's when we ended up getting rid of our house that we were in for 15 years. So, hold on, I have a UPS truck coming. Give me just one moment, please. HCS coming through. Alrighty. Uh, anyway, that was the last time that I owned any gym equipment. And at that point, I'd, uh, I had worked out pretty decently from 2007 until uh, uh, the middle of 2010 and then trickled off to the towards the end of 2010 had personal issues marital type problems etc that uh, took my attention away and I just lost my drive to do much of anything and kind of where I'm at today anyhow okay long story but it kind of ties in uh, this morning, my wife was outside in our little area where she sits and smokes and plays on her phone and all that. And I have a big window right there by my desk. And I stood up by the window and I was going like that. I said, I need some more weights. And she said, you've already had weights a hundred times. Something to that effect. And that kind of triggered me. And just a few moments later as I was sitting at my desk, I kind of looked out, I looked out the window and I said, you know... Anytime someone wants to better themselves, you should always support it. And that is the truth. Uh, you should always support people when they want to try and better themselves mentally, physically, spiritually. I don't mean church spiritually. I mean your inner, just your inner peace. Uh, you should always support people. Now, I'm not talking about wanting a full-fledged gym. Uh, and all that equipment I'm talking about. I just want maybe uh, a straight bar with a with maybe up to 100 or 200 pounds on it. There's a few dumbbells and a and a FID bench, flat incline decline bench. That's it. I mean, we're talking about basic stuff, nothing major. Just something I can try to do a little bit of movements in that. Now, the, in 2000 and let me try and get this right. 14 about 2015 or 14 I don't remember it's when we moved back from Las Vegas it was 2014 and then shortly after uh, shortly after I, I had to do something because I've always been active so I got a gym membership which is the first time I ever done anything like that because I've always worked out at home so I started going to the gym and it was not long after that that I ended up having to quit I had a year contract on there so I kind of I tried to work it out for the whole year and uh, well I did work it out for the I, I didn't cut my contract short it was a whole year and then I cut it off because I have so much scar tissue and pain in my right shoulder that it was putting me nearly in tears to even do uh, a five pound dumbbell or, or, or any kind of a fly movement, a pressing movement, a dip, an overhead extension, anything to that nature. It feels like the muscles and all the soft tissues just ripping apart. 
and it goes down into my bicep and then my tricep and everything and it is a really intense extreme pain no kidding so anyway that's why i had to quit going to the gym otherwise i loved it and i'd probably still be doing that uh, number one, because I really enjoy working out. It's always been a passion and a love of mine. Number two, because I've never really been to a gym and having all that equipment to use uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, was incredible. They have two different buildings. The one that I went to had two different buildings. One of them even had an upstairs for different things and really a great gym. Freedom Fitness here in Paris, Tennessee, if you're wondering. So, this leaves me at the old support people. It doesn't matter if someone's worked out and started and stopped a dozen times in their lives. If they want to try and get back out there and do it, support them. You know? Uh, there's a difference in spending a hundred, a couple hundred dollars, and spending, you know, five thousand dollars on equipment. There's a big difference there. Or getting a membership to a gym whatever the case may be you know you can always cancel those when it's time uh, when it comes to anything whether it's playing tennis walking jogging hiking and I'm just gonna leave it mostly to sporting activities uh, you know any of that kind of stuff that someone has love and a passion for and you know they do because they they talk about it and they start and stop doing it throughout their lives and this that there's a love and a passion there and it means something to them so always make sure that you try to support them and what they want to do. Please don't wave. That's only awkward when you don't. Anyway. So will I eventually get something? I might. Um, my upper body is crap compared to what it used to be. You know, I work out all the time from the waist down, pedaling my bikes. So, lots of traffic on this little road. So I need to get something going on from the waist up. And it's hard for me. I can't do push-ups because that's a push. I can't do any kind of dips because that's stress on my shoulder and my tricep and, and all that. I can do curls. I can do some tricep movements um, I can do deadlifts I can do I can't really do squats because I can't get my arm back like that without it feeling like it's gonna rip off unless I have the the bars with the handles on the front you know I can do some basic exercises to get some strength and and uh, anyway strength and a little bit of keep a little bit of muscle up top uh, I used to be good sized fella strong and it pains me to see myself going to poop so anyways guys remember always support people and their loves and their passions uh, especially when it comes to when they're getting older especially when it comes to their you know uh, how they feel about these things it means something to some people just because you might not have anything that you like to do you might just be a couch potato that don't mean everyone is so guys I hope you enjoyed the video and the message if you have any comments or anything leave them in the comment section don't forget to like share comment subscribe all that good stuff I do all this for free, no monetization, no ads. Guys, I'm going to finish my ride. I'm only a couple miles from home. Don't forget to get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it. And enjoy doing it. We'll see y'all later.